fixing the validations. What we saw in the previous forms is that client side validations are not taking place. We have set the layout file correctly. We have included all the JavaScript. We also have added all the annotations. And despite that validations are not working. First of all, let us debug it out. Let me show you the problem first. In none of the forms, any validation is occurring despite the fact that we have already written our annotations correctly and yet no validations are working. We haven't missed out either on the validation message spaces because everywhere we have written at the rate validation message for something else is wrong. So let us see how we can do it running it again. Right click view source doc type scripts they are all coming correctly. Let us push the login see this page also Okay, here is the problem. In this page, not doc type, nothing is available. This means this page is not coming clearly and completely. What could be wrong? This is inside an area. This view is not linking to the layout file that is lying outside the area. None of my views they are able to link to the layout file that is lying outside the areas folder. If you see the normal that we have been using used to with each views folder contains a view start file and inside our area we have a view state views folder but there is no view start file. This is the file from where we are able to tell the view where is your layout page. So what we do is we copy this view start and bring it to our views folder in the area paste. Now I double click it it will reach to views by shared by layout so it will reach the layout file that we have fixed outside. In fact this gives you a lot of freedom you could have written your own layout file so that the login appears as a separate as a separate layout. But for the present we are, in, we are maintaining only one layout that is outside the common layout this one where we have included all the bundles also including for validation and all now let us run our project because we have specified our view start file and let us see whether it works now this is our login page view source yes this time we have got it so what we have done is we have simply added a view start file to the views folder this is the file that we have added this is the file that we have added to the views folder inside this area areas login area views folder and there we have added a view start file. This view start file points to the layout file that is lying outside. So this means they all the views in this folder they will now get attached to this layout file and since that layout file contains our validation jQuery files 
links to them, the validations will start working. Let us now verify. Click on login and now the client side validations work. And in fact, the regular expression one is also working. Type something in the phone, click on login, it still, it requires. So this means it is perfect now. So to summarize so far, how have been we, we how have we been able to fix the validations? We brought our view start file here and pointed it to the layout file that is lying outside and in that layout we have already added all the required JavaScript files. Okay. This is one thing. Now let me come to your create user form once for a while. This is the new user form. If I run it, new user. Are my validations working? Yes, they are working. But it would be very interesting if uh, as the user is typing here, we are able to tell him simultaneously whether the email is available or not. So as the user types, let us say he types a at the rate a dot com. Simultaneously a message should flash that this email is already used by somebody else. Please try other email. This should occur as a smooth validation alongside the client side validation. Just like we are receiving these error messages we should also receive one error message for that. Of course, that error message cannot be decided on the client side. A very quick call has to go to the server. A very quick call has to go to the server. And the server responds immediately back. And by the way, by the time the user clicks on the create user, that message flashes here immediately as if some sort of validation error has occurred. So let us do that. For that, we have to put a server side validation code on the email field. That is we have to specify from where will this email be validated through a silent remote call? Before I write the validation here, let me write that function first. I'll come to my user controller, double click it and here I'll write remote validation method method or function I'll write public JSON result because that will be through JSON only and then I can write validate email string so what is the email property that will come the property is user email. So I'll copy this one. The spelling has to be the same. And here I can write my code. How will I test? I can simply uh, open your this uh, using DB is not coming. So I have to add uh, namespace at the top, I'll write using mbc login dot entity models and coming down to the last one where I was writing. So I'll write using db users entities ctxt is equal to new
here. We'll try to search one TBL user T is equal to ctx dot tbl users dot single or default tbl user condition x goes to x dot user email is double equal to the parameter that is coming from outside if null is equal to or we can write it uh, if uh, null is double equal to t else this means if uh, null is equal to t means nothing was found so we'll return return json result so what we'll return we'll return true that is it validates that the email is allowed json request behavior dot allow get and if then we can write try another uh, I'll have to is a type but use like a variable return new we should write return json and here we should write return json so this is what we have to do this pattern return true for validation success and return any other message for a value as this will act as a validation message so this one is for remote validation this pattern now what we do we should now come back to our annotations and place here one remote I'll have to resolve it. Right click, resolve using system dot web dot mvc. This is what we have added at the top. This one system dot web dot mvc remote. What are the arguments available? Root name. We'll require an argument that references the area because our annotation is outside the area and the method has been put inside the area there is a fifth overload which says action controller and area name this is what will work for us action action controller area name so what is the action action is I'll copy it paste it controller is user user is the controller user comma I have to put the area name area name is login area and I can put some named parameters also let me see whether named parameters will be possible yes named parameters are possible I can write error message is equal to I, I don't need to write error message because it will be picked from the client uh, server side that is coming now when I run this it should validate but uh, it will have certain issues we can now check this remote validation that we have applied click to login username this one is too long let me first correct this one coming back to my annotations 
I'll have to put an error message here. Error message is equal to email format. So I'm writing an error message here so that that disturbing thing doesn't occur. So when I click on login, it succeeds because this email ID was available. I have added another email ID to the database a at a dot com. This email ID is already in the database, so it is saying try another. So this is how my remote annotations are working. We can we have seen that our remote validations are working if i add some field that is the email some that email is uh, available at that moment this message is not firing but this fires when i put an email that already exists a.com and the error messages are almost real time they are occurring through a uh, hidden or maybe back end ajax and all calls I'll, I'll just revise this one first with you. I just put a remote on the user email and paired it with the corresponding action method on the server called validate email. And I wrote try another. In case that email is not available. I'll come to database explorer, show table data. I already have added a at the rate a dot com. So when somebody tries to add that a at the rate a dot com, an error message flashes. See it once more. a at the rate a dot com phone and the error message is flashing here. Now this one poses one problem. I have added the annotation. Where have I added the annotation? I have added the annotation on the user email. Now this is a problematic thing now. The problem is if somebody just says forgot password and he types his own user email, this error message is firing again. Because this error message was put placed on the model property and model property is everywhere. I am using the same model here. So this is a horrible problem. It should work in case of a new user, but should not work in case of a login. Suppose a genuine user is trying to log in. In that case, it is saying try another. So things have gone horribly wrong. How do I solve this problem? For this, I'll come back to my remote. There is another parameter available in the named parameters list. Additional fields is a parameter that is available. Let me add it first and then I'll tell you how to use it. I am giving additional fields a, prop a value called create user. I can give any value. So I'm giving create user. I'll have to pass this as a parameter into my validate email also. String, same name, same something, create user. And here I can check if create user is double equal to, that is I'm trying to compare is double equal to a string value of 1. And I'll copy it. Of course, I'm not stressing on the optimization of the code. I'm just displaying the concept. Otherwise, I would have just tried to optimize it. 
the code here basically says if the param additional parameter called create user is equal to 1 then only this will run otherwise it will simply pass a call as json true i have put an additional field called create user on my user email this will differentiate from where the call is coming if the call is coming from the create user form I'll, I'll simply try to read the value 1 there and if the value is 1 I'll say ok it should be validated through the process otherwise it will be not, not validated it will be simply skipped out now how do I pass this create user for this I am coming to my new user form here I can write a hidden field just close to the user email and I write at the rate html dot hidden and what are the parameters available I have to just uh, put a name to this name I will put create user and its value I can put 1 when somebody clicks this submit alongside this email and the phone a create user parameter with value 1 will be passed to the validate email function so whenever somebody tries to perform validation when the validation through remote is being done create user will be passed with a value of 1 to this field and at other places I am not writing anything so validation will occur remote validation will be prevent will occur only selectively if it is create user equal to 1 at other places I am not passing it at all so now let us run it and see I'll type the email and now I can see the problem is not there similarly I can check for the forward password a at the rate a.com no problem coming back to the new user one this is the new user one here I'll try to add a at the rate a.com and it says try another so this way my validations are well fixed my remote validations are working and they are working selectively also so the trick for selective remote validation is to use the additional fields property named parameter that is available on the annotation form for remote and this create user must be available as a parameter on this this create user has nothing to do with the form called create user you could have given any name any name could have been given but this name should have tallied with this one and everything should have in turn tallied with this one that is three of them should have tallied with each other so our validations are in place now now we have to do the coding part we'll close it right now thanks